loves Joy Sparkle BS. This should be a fairly quick video, and by quick I mean not a half hour. <laughs> I'm thinking this will be under a 10 minute one, but I am having a good day. Why am I having a good day, you ask? Well, I'm physically getting better and better every day, which thank whatever is or isn't God for that, and the wonderful support of my roommate. And you know who I don't want to thank for that? Are people like Peter Mon. I wonder why I wouldn't want to thank Peter Mon for all the great health strides I'm going through. Oh, that's right, because you added to the BS I went through, Peter. And watching you go down in flames has been such a highlight for me. What am I talking about? Well, Peter over the last couple weeks has come under a lot of scrutiny. Now, over the last few months, people have here and there have been calling him out about being a hypocrite. Isn't it interesting? How many people did I warn y'all about back in the day? How many people, let's see, I warned everybody about Based Mama when nobody knew what was going on with her and everybody thought I was crazy because she said I was crazy, crazy. I warned people about Repsion, Onision, but everybody knew about Onision. I can't take any credit for that. Um, I know there are others, oh, uh, Ron, stay negative. Look what's happened to him. And finally, finally, here it is. It's Peter's turn. I've been waiting for this. I have been waiting because I told y'all before. See, back in the day, people came to me right around the time I was gonna delete my, right before I deleted my channel. Oh, Peter's really nice. Peter wants to help you. He really sees the best in everybody. Contact him. And when I did, he didn't care to try to help me at all. Remember, he wanted to help me with my physical and mental problems, <laughs> which any mental problems that I had at the time were from the craziness I was going on on YouTube, right? And you know what he did instead? He was rude, he was cold, and he read those DMs out loud and he laughed about it. That's Peter. Peter is one of the fakest trending YouTubers that I've, that I've experienced. Now that's just my experience. I'm sure there are others, but just in my experience. Peter is somebody who's going to really play that genuine card and that little violin and act like he cares so much about people in his audience and none of it's true and then he can't handle even an ounce of criticism. And that's what we're seeing. And I'm loving it. So all today I've been preparing, because I have some videos ready, but even new stuff has come out. Even new stuff. I'm not going to dive into it all right now, but I'm going to tell you guys, this is going to be a Peter Mon weekend, and probably a Peter Mon week. Because I didn't realize Peter made eight videos about me. Eight. All with hypocritical, nasty BS disguised as, I love everybody, I want to help everybody, but let me slap you on the face some. And I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Apparently, a friend has now spoke out about some of his actions, and it's juicy. This guy, Dustin, it's juicy. And here comes Peter doing a video where he's almost fake crying. But wait a second, Peter. And he's like, I just need to tell people how I feel. I just need to talk to people because I'm getting so much hate. And I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you've got so much hate directed at you. Oh, Peter, honey, I have been. And mine wasn't for a week or two, and it wasn't deserved. It was from people like you, who are just drama whores, attention whores, who don't really care about anybody else. You made fun of somebody that's genuinely sick. You said some of my sickness is BS, didn't care to correct the record. It's been a year. You haven't corrected anything about me. And you want to hear the best part? He actually made a video about Repsion's video about me, supporting Repsion after everything we now know. Yeah. Peter's a real genuine human being. He's somebody that will use somebody sick and mock them and make fun of them to make money. What a swell guy. So I just wanted to give everybody a heads up and a fair warning because I know I have some Peter Mon fans and that's okay. Since I've been making the Peter series, I've been losing subs and I'm okay with that. People need to go where they need to go and that's fine. My hope would be that people can look at the situation objectively. You can be a fan of Peter's and a fan of mine, but let people call out people they need to. And here's the thing, I think y'all know about me. I try to be fair about it. I'm not just gonna call somebody out for drama and attention, fan. I'm not gonna do that. I go after what I thought were really awful people. Daddy05, the stuff Onision was doing. Um, ah, who's that YouTuber? That, that musician who turned into a, a, a pedo, a little petter ass. Like, I've gone, that's the kind of stuff that I talk about like really disgusting stuff in the world. But Peter likes to take any kind of jabs at anybody. He's admitted, he doesn't even know if he's right, and he doesn't care. But then turns around and acts like he's this amazing person. 
Well, he's not. Peter Mon is fake. Now, here's the thing. You might say, well, I've seen Peter Mon be nice, or you might even say, I know Peter. Peter's been nice to me. That's great. Good for you. Just because he single-handedly singled you out and been nice to you doesn't mean he's not a piece of shit and a manipulator and a gaslight to a lot of other people. I know. You don't like when Mama films. I know. Come here. Can you come here? Come here. Come here. I know. Somebody doesn't like when Mama films. <laughs> She's been, somebody's been doing this lately. I love you. I love you. Okay, I'll love on you. I'm gonna love on you. So yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know that it's gonna be a Peter Mon weekend because I didn't realize I have eight videos to get to. Eight. Eight videos. And I can't wait. On top of that, um, this kid Dustin, who apparently Peter was controlling and gaslighting, um, we're gonna dive into that too and Peter's reaction. I just think it's funny. Um, because if, if Peter, if you watch this, which I don't think you will, because you're too much of a narcissist, you wouldn't watch it unless it had a whole lot of views. Um, but, uh, I think it's funny that you asked, you know, you talked about what it's like to receive waves of hate. You've only had it for a couple weeks, bitch. I'm on year two. Bring it. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Why is it so many men on YouTube are cowards? Like, for instance, y'all know I've talked about this, and we're going to talk about this some more. Petty Page. I disagree with some stuff Petty Page has said about me. I think she's been a hypocrite, but you know what? Petty Page is a real ass bitch. Like she's a grown ass woman. When I've said, hey, I'm upset, I don't like something you've done, she came and talked to me face to face. She didn't have to do that. That's what real grown women do. So I, it's, but I'm, it's so funny because I'm watching not all, but there are so many men on YouTube that dish, 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 and just can't take it in her pusses. Like Repsion, he refuses to debate me. Oh, but he said, what was it last week? At the end of last week, a part two was coming to his video, which never came. We'll get into that. Um, Peter, who, oh, I want to help you, won't, was nasty and used it for views. Remember, he thinks I'm, me I'm, I'm so mentally ill, right? And I want to help you. But then he turns around and he makes fun of what he thinks is a mentally ill person. So that's somebody, that's a good person, right? That, that's a real good person. Let's look at Ron. Stay negative. Same thing. Dish, dish, dish was an ass. I mean, just, he sold shirts making fun of me being sick. Sold merchandise, made money off of it, and couldn't handle even, the, even a, a couple months of criticism. I've gone through it now for almost two years. The bulk of it, I would say, okay, it was May of 2017 is when it really hit. I mean, I was going through it before, but May is when it never turned around. So what is that, a year and a half? Peter, you're a little puss. And if you're gonna dish it, you're gonna have to learn to take it. Oh, people are worried about me. My boyfriend's worried, shut up. I'm gonna give you the same advice that you gave me. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Peter. Deal with it. If you're gonna dish shit, you have to learn to take it. Maybe you should delete your channel and leave YouTube for a year and figure out how to deal with it. Oh, that's right, you're a attention whore. You can never do that. I can delete 60,000 subscribers like that to try to better myself and refocus. You would never have the courage because Peter YouTube is the only thing that makes you feel anything in this world. Attention is what you get off on. You would never be able to walk away from this platform. And it's not because you think somebody's bullying you before you say, oh, Joy's bullying me or this, that, and this. This is called standing up for myself. This is called defending myself. And this is called calling you out. Nobody at this point can ever say again when it comes to me, I'm an attention whore. Because how my attention whore when I delete the big platform and walk away for almost a year? That's right, I'm not. Because I've done things in life, Peter. I've been successful at other things. And granted, you said you've been a therapist and a counselor. Who knows your real credentials? Because remember, you say that things about me are BS but don't research, so I guess I can do the same with you, right? Or are you gonna go make a video and cry that Joy was so mean to you? Seriously, Peter, knock it off. You're crying, in my opinion, is manipulation. If you were so mentally weak, a, go seek therapy, and B, don't give you a therapist to other people because you don't know how to do it if you can't take the crap that you dish out. If you can't handle your own life, how do you turn around and help other people? If you can't handle the crap that you dish out when it comes back to you, how are you going to try to act like, oh, I'm going to try to better people on YouTube while slapping them around the face? People who haven't actually done anything. Why don't you go after the real nasty people, Peter? I know you're part of the LGBT community. Why don't you go after the fact that a lot of older LGBT men like to prey on young boys. Why don't you go after all that? Since somebody already tried to accuse you of that, why don't you call that stuff out? Oh, that's right. Because you don't actually give a shit about the real problems of the world. You're just a narcissist seeking attention and you will do anything and hurt anyone and slander anyone in the process and cry, oh 
my hurt feelings when somebody stands up for themselves or does it back to you. You can't handle, not even if somebody does the same thing you've done, you can't handle if somebody stands up for yourself. You're weak-minded. It's pathetic. Quit crying and grow up. You're a 46 year old man, 46. With all the stuff you said about me and other people, you don't get to cry on camera unless it's manipulation. Wasn't that Laura, what's her name, that Laura woman, like how many times has he mocked people's apology videos and how they've responded? And look what you're doing back, Peter. So I wanted to let you know, Peter, I'm finally responding. It's been a long time coming and I'm coming for you only in the sense of I'm standing up for myself against your BS. People like you should not be on YouTube. I'm not saying to deplatform you. I'm not saying to leave. I'm saying the world of YouTube would be better without hypocritical, sociopathic acting narcissists like you, in my opinion. I'm not a therapist or a counselor. I'm not you, I'm not a therapist or counselor that talks about my patients on social media. I'm not you, I'm just giving my opinion. That felt good. <laughs> Okay, I've got more coming. Remember when I said I came back to YouTube, I have zero Fs to give. I'm sure I'll lose subs and I'm sure this will be downvoted and that's fine. Remember, to all the hate comments and the people that downvote, the downvotes are just as valuable as the upvotes. So please, the more attention I get, the quicker I can grow my channel because people, period, ah, I can't talk. Hi, Rumi, I'm filming. I'm almost done, just duck. Because Peter, it's people like you that made me delete my channel. So I'm gonna use you for, <laughs> I don't know if you saw boo -boo -boo me. I'm gonna use you for subs and views just like you did me. But the difference is I've got integrity and truth on my side and we're gonna have some fun. Also to this kid, Dustin, Dustin, I would love to interview you. If you're interested, please reach out. If you guys know Dustin, oh my God, celebration is going on. If you guys know, uh, cause Rumi just came home. Is that, is that exciting? Is somebody home? Who's home to see you? I'm gonna go because it's gonna get really loud. He's trying to keep them quiet and they're about to go nuts. Okay, I love you guys. Take care. Dustin, if you see this or if somebody wants to send it to Dustin, would love to speak with you. Take care, guys. Bye. Mwah.